Hello and welcome to this unboxing interview. Today's product we're going to be taking a look at is a digital converter. It'll take video capture and convert it into digital files for your computer. It's software independent, no software required. Um, it'll take uh, convert VHS tapes, as you can see the VHS player there, along with the old school camcorders, your digital high eights there, and your VHS Cs. My first camcorder in high school was a GRC1U, which is there to the right. That's a JVC, affectionately known as the Marty Cam, which was featured in the movie Back to the Future and Stranger Things. You can also convert retro gaming systems, and you can see the converter to the left. So let's get to unboxing and reviewing this product. Here is the Video 2 Digital Converter 2.0 by ClearClick, which will be unboxing and reviewing. Capture video to digital format, no computer required. This is the bundle edition, which includes a 32 gigabyte flash drive and the video editing software. The reason why I purchased this was I recently upgraded my Mac to the new Catalina. The software I had uh, originally to capture video and convert to digital files was no longer compatible. So I was looking for something, a new software, and then I stumbled upon this which was great, it's independent software, so it's future-proof where I didn't have to worry about upgrading software all the time, so everything was contained in this one product. So that was a really nice um, feature that really uh, pretty much resonated with me to, to pick this up. You can see what's included, the converter itself, a USB cable, power adapter, an RCA cable, USB flash drive, video pad software, or editing software, I should say, and uh, so that's that's the name of this, uh, the video editing software, and also the quick user guide. So let's open this up, and take a quick look at what's included with this particular product, and you can see there is the digital video converter right there, and it's plastic. So it's a nice looking unit with a 3.5 inch screen, pretty good um, weight to it. So we'll take a look at that here in a second and let's go take a look at all the different included accessories with this this converter and there is a USB cable which uses a, you use that to the power up the unit and there's the RCA cables the yellow is the video the white and red is the audio for those that may not be familiar with those type of cables and there is a 32 gig flash USB drive that's included with this bundle. I also want to mention this will capture video in the MP4 file format on this USB flash drive, SD card, or any other external USB connected storage device. All right, and after playing with that, let's take a look at the next item in the bag. It is the the wall plug for the USB. So if you don't have a USB power outlet, you can actually put that adapter and that'll go into a to an AC power outlet 2.0. So this is a, it's apparently it's an upgrade from the previous um, video converter that in this line that ClearClick did. So this is a lot of improvements. I'm not exactly sure of all the improvements. I think the screen size may have been different, but either or, this is the quick guide there. It's kind of showing how to hook up the video sources and the, how to start converting your videos. And you can see you can actually do a pause, resume recording. So it's pretty nice. You can actually that feature is built into this, even along with the auto stop. And there's all the FAQs for troubleshooting. And some more just how to connect your HDMI. And here is the specs. It will do 1280 output HDMI and also do capture 720 as the video. And let's just take this out of the protective plastic here and kind of look at the unit. It's fairly nicely built, pretty robust looking. Um, it's, like I said I mentioned earlier, it's got a nice little weight to it. Definitely a nice little substantial little um, converting device here. There's a micro USB port for USB power, the S video input, the AV in input jack for RCA input, and the HDMI out port and the USB port for the flash drive for recording. Before we use the product, let's remove this thin protective film on the screen. And looking at the menu button there, you can use that to enter or exit the menu. And the next button is the power button, turn it on and off. The mode button, you can actually switch among recording, the photo, 
or the playback mode. So photo mode, you can actually take screenshots of the video that you're actually digitizing. And there is a record button and the volume controls. Let's remove this label. As we do, we expose an SD card slot. So you can use an SD card in addition to a flash drive or an external hard drive to store video that you're digitizing. Looking at the back of the unit, you see these slots where you can actually hang this unit on a wall while you're digitizing. Very nice feature. And then let's power it up. We'll get the main screen that shows here. This blue LED light is your power indicator. It will also blink if the memory is full in your storage device. Take a look at the settings menu. There's the English language, your system date and time. You can set that and that'll actually in the next um, selection will be your time watermark. So you can add that to your video captures and your digitized videos. Auto stop recording so you can set the length up to 150 minutes. So if you have a 150 minute video, it'll stop automatically. Your S video input, RCA. There's your default storage devices. Connect to an SD card or a USB flash drive or an external drive. You can also schedule the record in times. And you can reset your factory settings if need be. And then you can format your formatting. And there's your firmware upgrade. So you can actually download something to the flash drive and upgrade and do a firmware update. And also you can power it off. It gives you a confirmation if you want to need to power it off. Just take a regular VHS recording. And right now, and you can, if you want to output, you can hit that. You can connect that to an HDMI output. It'll also output to your big TV, so you can monitor it on the big TV. But even like you know, here's a, a home video I shot in high school back in back in the late '80s, probably with that Marty Cam with that um, JVC GRC1U it was my first camcorder as I mentioned earlier. So this is footage from the, from back in. I think that was probably in 80, 1986, kind of showing my age on there. So you can actually, and then even if you wanted, this is actually showing a sample, even works directly with the, the eight digital high eight. The only thing I noticed, I plugged in the S video, couldn't get it going on the S video. I don't know if it was just a bad cable or not. So um, you can do, I haven't tried fully the S video on that yet. And also, as I mentioned earlier, you can, if you have a retro gaming system, here we an example of Super Nintendo system. And this is actual footage right here, the capture I game got from the digital converter. So if you have a video game system, I would recommend definitely what you could do either way, looking through this three and a half screen on the digital converter, or even have the HDMI output and looking on the monitor while you're capturing some footage. And here's another sample right here, the, um, the Sega Genesis, another Retro gaming system, you can connect right to it and capture footage right here. So, so yeah, overall, it's pretty pleased with the, the digital converter. It's all in one package, and so far what I've, what I've used, uh, the quality is pretty good. No no hiccups yet, except for one was just the S video didn't wasn't getting input, so I don't know if it's a bad S video cable that I had. I have to try that out, and then there was like a little buzzing sound at one point when I was. Um, when I powered it off, but other than that, I mean, it, it doesn't normally do that. It was just that one or two times it did that. A nice bonus to this bundle is this video pad video editing software that's included by NCH Software. It's the professional edition, so they include the um, professional edition in this one, which is a pretty good value. If you bought the software separately, it's $99. Um, it has, it's fully featured. Um, you can use external plugins they have. If they also have a home edition that's sold uh, separately also, it's $60, but you can only add two audio tracks and no external plugins. So it's a pretty good, nice um, addition to this bundle that they included the professional, fully featured edition of the video editing software. Um, I've tried it a little bit. It seems pretty robust, and so far what I've used on the software, it's definitely uh, worth checking out if you don't buy this digital converter if you want to look for a video editing software. It is Mac and Windows um, compatible. Overall, I am pleased so far with this digital video converter. I would definitely recommend it. And also, please do share the video for anyone who would want to convert old home movies or even capture retro video games. And do please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to be notified of future videos. I appreciate all your support. And also, I just launched a new merch store that helps support the channel. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.